What's going on guys, I'm Danny and thank you for checking out my channel, Blu-ray Dan. Guys, how are ya? How are each and every one of you? Listen, first and foremost, let me apologize right off the bat for the nasal sound that's coming out of this right here. Um, I just got over being crazy sick and uh, I'm just, I'm recuperating now, but this video was time sensitive, we had to get this out, and this is an awesome video. So this one is going to be a top five list. This is going to be uh, the top five Marvel Cinematic Universe uh, films leading up to Avengers Infinity War, which is right here, which is super exciting. But to make this video even better and to make this whole overall thing exciting uh, or more exciting, we are going to be doing a collaboration here with Darren from the Flick Connection. Thanks for having me on, Dan. I really appreciate it. I have been wanting to do a video with you for a while, so I'm excited that our first collaboration is right at the release of Infinity War. Now, I had a little bit of trouble coming up with my top five, but only because some of my favorite Marvel movies are not technically in the MCU. Movies like Logan and Deadpool. So I had trouble eliminating those, but I'm really happy with the ones I finally settled on. No, I totally agree with down right there. Uh, this was it, this was a difficult list. Uh, it's one that I've thought about multiple times. There's just so many of them. I think there are like 19 or 20 MCU films at the moment, and uh, some of my favorite Marvel in general films are ones that aren't even in the MCU. So it was it was a shame to have to cut out Logan. Logan was my I mean, and like you said, Deadpool. Uh, Logan was such a phenomenal film. It was probably my favorite Marvel uh, film. To date, and Deadpool is just fantastic, but they're not in this uh, in this list. So let's push past that, guys. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be bouncing off of each other. Uh, number five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one, and uh, and that where we're going to cut it there. But let's uh, let's get started. Without further ado, let's jump right into this. My number five pick is actually uh, Captain America: Civil War. Uh, the reason I picked this one is because it is my favorite Avengers movie. Uh, as far as the ones where they are all together, even though it didn't have Avengers in the title, it really is an Avengers movie. And the reason I liked it is because it is a little smaller in scale. I feel like the Avengers movie so far. They, they really just go for the brass ring, and they, the final sequence gets so epic. The storyline gets kind of muddied, whereas I feel like uh, Civil War had a much stronger through through line in its story. The conflict with uh, Tony Stark felt right. It felt real. By comparison, Batman vs. Superman, I never really bought into that conflict. It just like didn't fit together. And I was worried that would happen with Civil War, and it didn't. I really kind of bought it, and I felt like the kind of final fight with them at that facility uh, really played out well. It wasn't this big overblown crazy thing. Uh, it just was really more personal and I really like that aspect of, of Civil War. Now coming in at my number five spot we have Black Panther. Now this is, I believe it's the most recent one. I can't remember. Uh, I think Black Panther came out after Thor Ragnarok, right? Yeah, it did, definitely. And uh, this is the most recent one and I mean, I, I had so much fun with this movie and for many reasons, actually. Uh, before I even talk about the movie itself, it's just my theater experience was fantastic. And I believe the majority of people that I spoke to, theirs was as well. Uh, just the, the energy in the crowd was great. Uh, people were really into it. And uh, it, was a, it was a beautiful thing that always adds something to the, uh, to, to the overall feel. Uh, now, Black Panther was just, I mean, the story was really, really good in my opinion. It was very different. Uh, I like that it kind of separated from the rest of the Marvel films, but there was also a, uh, a connection in there. Uh, forget it, man. There's so many things that I enjoyed about it. The cast, the characters, I really, I didn't even care that much for Black Panther in uh, when we first saw him in Civil War, but I really, really liked him in this film. And, um, I mean, the, the, the cast that, that played all the characters were really good. The costume design was great. Uh, and forget it, hold on, the, the villain, I mean, played by Michael B. Jordan, who I'm a huge fan of because of Creed, and, uh, and it was directed by Ryan Coogler, who also directed Creed, which was just, I mean, it, it just it added to everything, and uh, it was just something really beautiful about it. The overall feel, the environment, it just it, it made for a really good film and I've only seen it once so I'm really looking forward to checking that one out again. Now my number four pick is actually Spider-Man Homecoming. Now I put this towards the back, it maybe should even be number five, but for me I was really surprised by some of the sequences in it. I think they did a great job of not giving everything away in the trailers, so I like that a lot. Uh, it had some really nice elements. I've always been a big Spider-Man fan, even before the first movie came out. I had Spider-Man this and that, and little uh, uh, computer interactive games, and I just, I was really 
into Spider-Man. So I was happy to see them bring Spider-Man into the MCU fold really well. I feel like it was a great reboot. Even though it's really early, they really just sort of messed up with the, with the uh, previous one. There were some weird things in it I didn't love, but for the most part, it was a fun movie to watch. Uh, it didn't lose me in terms of story, and everything was convincing and exciting. So it really just sort of checked all of the boxes for me. Now coming in at my number four spot, we have the Avengers. The very first time, guys, that everybody came together. This movie had, I mean, I remember even seeing the trailer for it. Uh, when, it when the trailer was first uh, put out there for the world to see, uh, just watching all of the damn characters that you've seen uh, from all individual films come together like that, and then you know you, you saw how it all came in uh, that, that 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 big combined circle scene that that the camera went around every single one of them when they were in the uh, fighting in New York. That was just, I mean, so iconic, and it's something special about not only bringing all these tremendous characters together, but bringing all the tremendous actors together like that it was just so cool to see them all side by side back to back and uh and i enjoyed so much about it uh, as well i mean I, I enjoyed the uh just well that specifically but I, I really enjoyed the uh like the bickering between all of them you could see that right from the start they all didn't get along right away the uh sarcastic and very large personalities uh clashing i thought that was super fun um and yeah, it was just overall, I believe it was the first time that we also saw Mark Ruffalo's The Hulk, am I correct? I think so. Uh, there was something so special about that. Uh, it was higher up on my list uh, until I had seen other ones come out, but uh, there, that one will always hold a beautiful place in my heart. Uh, something always going to be so special about uh, the, the original Avengers. So that's my number four pick. My number three pick is actually Thor Ragnarok. It might have something to do with the fact that it's the most recent one that I've seen, but I, it's really fun. I really liked it. It is by far, in a way, the best Thor movie. Uh, I've been really disappointed by the Thor movies previously, but I thought this was great. I thought it was really well directed. It was funny. I really liked the things it shared in common with my number one pick. I hope that's not giving too much away too early, but I liked it a lot. I thought about it afterwards. It really just held my interest from beginning to end, and it had an interesting story where some others, I just feel like I'm watching the same movie over and over again. Thor Ragnarok Rock kind of stands out and it's kind of its own thing. I really like that aspect of it. And what's not to like about Jeff Goldblum melting people with a stick? Coming in at my number three spot, we have Guardians of the Galaxy. Guys, you know, th this was also really, really big for me because th it, I, it was so unexpected. Um, now, I did not get to see this one in theaters originally, which truly, truly, it, it stinks, man, because I. I really enjoy this film so much, um, uh, but w w I wound up seeing it, I think I got it on Blu-ray for Christmas or something like that, and I fell in love with it. I mean, uh, you know, you, I didn't know any of the characters to begin with, so I went in kind of blind. I've heard maybe the name Guardians of the Galaxy somewhere along the line, but it just, I, I didn't know anything about it, and this film was, it was just new, it was fresh, uh, it was it was just just very unique. And the the style that they used uh, with the, the 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 comedy and the the colors and everything about it was just so fun. The different characters, um, the the cast was fantastic. Uh, Chris Pratt is just he's a great Star Lord. Gamora played by uh, wow motorcycles. Gamora played by um, Zoe Saldana. I mean, oh, every everybody. There's just the whole entire cast did it. such a fantastic job that uh, it was just oh, uh, Vin Diesel as Groot's voice. Uh, oh my God, Bradley Cooper as uh, the raccoon. Uh, Dave Bautista as uh, Drax. It was just all oh, just so much fun. Everybody came together and it was just like a really entertaining film. And uh, unfortunately, I can't say the second one held up for me. So you can say that one's out of this list. But uh, that's my number three spot. For me, my number two pick is Iron Man. It is the first in the official uh, MCU canon, uh, and I think it's just a really great way to kick off this cinematic universe. It's such a good origin story. I love uh, the way Stark works his way out of the cave. I just think that's a great way to do the movie. I almost wanted to pick Iron Man 3 because I really like 
that one, but the Ben Kingsley thing in Iron Man 3 threw me, and then the end of the movie kind of loses me, whereas I feel like uh, even though the Iron Man is kind of a smaller, tighter story, it's not as epic, I really like that. Like, I'm, I'm more invested, I'm more invested in the characters, and it just, it feels tighter and it feels more cohesive. Uh, it's been a long time since I've watched it, and I still managed to rank it at number two. In my number two spot, we have a movie that actually held the number one spot since the number one film, and if that doesn't give you guys the hint, my number two is Iron Man. Uh, Iron Man, the, the one that started it all, uh, we get Robert Downey Jr. comes in, uh, again, like, I knew some of, uh, Iron Man's history, uh, growing up, I had watched the cartoon years ago, I never read the comics or anything, but I remember the, 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 the smart, sarcastic personality, and Robert Downey Jr. just stepped right into this spot, um, the film was very unique, and I think one thing that stuck out to me, that I real that made me really enjoy it, was, uh, there was, it had a very serious war aspect to it, and I love when films kind of add like a war, a war kind of theme uh, to them, uh, That's the, the, and, and that is what really changed uh, uh, Robert Downey Jr., Iron Man's, uh, it, his personality and outlook on everything, and I thought that was so cool. Um, the, the music was great, I remember the trailer for that one as well, uh, it, that was super fun, and just seeing him, this, this original, like a, a brand new, like, Iron Man suit now on the on the big screen and watching him fight and help people and and the, just the way it all came together was just it was so cool and I loved every second of it um, and I, I mean it held the number one spot for years for me but uh, the next one is what really bumped it out for me uh, but yeah Iron Man one just fantastic and it's I couldn't think of a better one to to hold. Uh, such a high spot because this is the one that started it all. And my number one pick is Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, I think part of the reason for that is it's kind of removed from the MCU. It's certainly in it. It's certainly part of it. And I'm glad they're bringing it more into the fold with Infinity War. So I'm excited about that. But it's so fun and unique. Uh, it's, it's exciting to watch, just like all the other reasons I like all of the other movies. But it's so unique in it. It's it's. It, it really is its own thing. A lot of the really fantastical action that we get from these MCU movies, it's fine. I really do feel like it plays better with Guardians because you're in space, you're in sort of a fantastical world, whereas most MCU movies take place on Earth, and it's easier to sort of see like the flaws in the special effects, but in, in Guardians, everything's colorful, everything's different, every environment is new, everything's different from anything you've ever seen. So everything just plays so much better together with that for me not to mention it's just funny the performances are great it's got a great vibe and the vibe on them continues from beginning to end which I think is really important uh, some some other movies that haven't been as good in my opinion uh, in the MCU don't have like tonal consistency and not only does Guardians have a great tone it's completely consistent from beginning to end there's not a minute of this movie that you could take out that feels like it doesn't belong in this movie. All right, guys, finally in my number one spot, we have Captain America Civil War. And that's right, uh, this was just such a fantastic film for me. Um, now, this one definitely feels like an Avengers film. Uh, you have the majority of the, the characters in here, uh, majority of the cast, including some new ones. Uh, you did not get Hulk and Thor, but you got to see, for the first time, you got to see uh, Black Panther and Spider-Man. Uh, this one really sticks out to me for uh, many reasons. Uh, it, it, it pitted good against good, and I always love seeing you know like teammates turn on each other. But I also liked the reasoning that it was. Uh, it, it, nobody's really a bad guy here. Uh, what what the big deal is is you get you have one side who you know, sees uh, how, that things can be handled one way and another side that sees how things can be handled a different way and should be handled a different way, a different way. And like, it just, they're both, they're both understandable. You could see both sides. And I personally had a hard time choosing which side I, I wanted to be on. But, uh, and as much as I loved Iron Man, uh, Captain America's side is what I truly uh, enjoyed and I related to. And I liked so much about it. Uh, uh, again, Spider-Man comes in for the first time. That was super cool to see. Uh, just the action scenes. You got Giant Man. You got so much going on. And it was just so cool. And it was just a really well done film. 
um, the action sequences, the story, just so much about it was just top notch. And that's why it is uh, Captain America Civil War is my number one pick. But all right, guys, that is it. Those are our lists. And uh, I mean, it, this was super fun to make. Uh, a very hard to sit down and kind of uh, pick which ones were our favorites. But I mean, it was so worth it. And I, this is a video that I've been wanting to do for a while. Uh, as always, guys, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe this video if you uh, subscribe to this channel if you are new here. Um, guys, if you want to follow Darren here, he is again giving some of his information. Thanks again for having me on, Dan. It's been a lot of fun. Can't wait to do it again. If you want to check out my channel, Flick Connection, I give recommendations like this all the time, and they tend to be things that you can currently watch on Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu. I do some other fun stuff as well, so be sure to check me out. If you come from Dan's channel, let me know in the comments below because I still read every single comment. But I had a lot of fun, and thanks for hearing what I had to say. And all right, guys, that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching once again. If you want to follow me or on any of my social media links or any other links of mine or Darren's, check in the description below. That's where they will be. And uh, once again, just thank you so much for watching. You guys are amazing. Um, I, I haven't bought my Avengers tickers, uh, tickets yet. I don't know what I was thinking. I got to go do that now. So let's end this video. My brother was telling me to do it from the beginning. Uh, guys, have an awesome day. Happy Avengering. That, that doesn't make any sense, but have a great day, guys. Take care. As always, I'm Danny. This is the Blu-ray Dan channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Avengers Infinity War!